Hi, I'm Mike from Scott Dalek, and how can you play Manhunt? <whistles> Find out. Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic and if you haven't, just check that you're subscribed this month just by scrolling down and if there's a red button, click it and be subscribed for free to gain access and be part of Team Orange. But today I'm going to teach you a really cool night game. I know you love night games, the nights are getting darker now and it's really fun to do some things and this one is great for the outdoors. Now then, it's called Manhunt. And the idea is that one leader is going to go out and the rest of your scouts are going to find them. All right. So you want to make sure that you're doing this outside and that everyone knows the boundaries. OK, if you're doing this on a campsite, that's probably the best uh, case scenario um, because you know who's on camp and everything else. Whereas if you're out in a park or anything like that, just be mindful of what's happening and if you are nervous why not if they're obviously doing it with the cubs why not actually have them as a team together with maybe your young leader and or, or an adult um, and if it's obviously scouts then a similar situation that they're all grouped together as teams so you can do it in various different ways depending on the situation but always try to remember what you're doing and where you are and your location okay so what you're going to need is this leader is going to have a whistle so that leader goes off whilst you're explaining the rules and the rules are simple they've got to find the leader in the quickest time now the leader is every 30 seconds is going to blow the whistle now the leader can either stay exactly still or they can move around depends on what they want to do depends on also how cold it is I know what it's like out there you're waiting so long that no one's coming um, so that leader is blowing their whistle every 30 seconds so either stationary or they're moving okay so they could blow their whistle over here and then in 30 seconds time they might be over there depending on obviously how they are so the scouts have to find them and once found the leader blows three whistles and everyone gathers back to where they are. If you're doing it in teams, that's probably the best scenario. If you're doing it individually, then you can do it that actually um, the first three that obviously turn up, win. Okay, three whistles are blown, everyone goes back to the meeting point, the starting point, and they can either replay it, change the leader around, depending on how they feel. They also need a torch. It's probably best because it's a light game. You know, definitely need some torches, don't you? Hey? Another way of doing it is that when the scouts actually find the leader, they've got to stay with them. So they've got to be quiet and the mass of group, the mass of people is gonna expand and expand until there's only a few hunting and searching for them. There's another way that you can play Manhunt and that's called Firefly. And instead of the leader blowing a whistle, they're actually shining a torch. Now it's gotta be a dim torch, it can't be a really powerful one because we all know that powerful ones nowadays, you can see halfway across the area that you're playing. So you want a dimly lit torch so that, you know, from a distance, they can just about see it. But when they get closer, they're going to see a lot more. So that's classed as Firefly, whereas there's also Manhunt. So there's two different types of game that you can play there, but still, equally, that's fun. If you like this video, then don't forget to obviously give it a thumbs up and share it around. And I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Bye.